I wake up at eight o'clock in the week and two or three times in a week I'll go for a run straight away. As you can see it's pretty cold here in Cambridge at this time of year but running at sunrise means I get to enjoy some really quite nice golden hour views and it's a great way to start the day. I'll usually be back for around half past eight in order to have a shower and eat some breakfast ahead of a very busy day. We have morning lectures three times a week and then studio tutorials for the other two days with various supervisions dispersed across the week. Today I have a structural design lecture first thing. We've just started a design project though so this was actually more of a group discussion than a lecture per se and I did spend some of the time working on my initial design ideas as well. I had a bit of time before the next lecture then, and since I was quite excited by my design plans, I allowed myself to get carried away modelling my design in CAD. At 11, I have a history and theory lecture. Since we don't have too many lectures, I like to try and write my notes by hand wherever possible. I do find it quite difficult to concentrate in lectures though, especially since they're all online, so if I find my concentration waning, I at least try to remain productive by distracting myself with studio work at the same time. Since most of our lecture material is assessed through essays, I can review the lecture content along with extra reading at a later time. At one o'clock I have lunch. Our dining hall is sadly closed because of the pandemic, so we have to eat out of takeaway boxes in a marquee on our lawn. The seating is socially distanced, so we can all sit together, and I tend to sit and chat for a full hour, as most days it's very sociable. Sadly, today was not one of those days. At two o'clock it's back on the grind. I'm in a long distance relationship and one of the things we do to manage that is by having FaceTime study sessions. So for the first two hours I'm working on an essay plan and doing some reading. This essay is on the causes of architectural revivalism in the 19th century. Then for the next two hours I'm working on studio. Our current design brief is a project in pairs, combining the ideas from case study houses that we studied at the start of term. This is a scale axonometric projection of our design. At 6 o'clock I have supper. Again, this is in the marquee because of Covid, so you know what that looks like. At 7 I have my capoeira session. Capoeira is a Brazilian martial art sort of crossed with dancing and calisthenics. I find it really difficult and it certainly requires a lot more flexibility than I have, but it's so different to everything else that I do I really enjoy the challenge and it's great respite from my work. 8 o'clock I'm doing studio again this time a bit more sociably. Studio is a sort of blessing and a curse in that sense, since it takes so much of our time, but it's not really like other work, in that you can chat or have some music playing in the background without too much trouble. Here's the progress. Then my evenings range in activities, with everything from competitive antics in my staircase to more relaxed reading by myself, or having a boogie with friends, all being equally likely. This is a pretty ideal day and I do also tend to plan to a similar level of structure throughout the week. Of course, working too hard in approach to a deadline and boogieing a tad too much after one are both inevitable parts of being a student which upset the schedule. That being said, having so much structure keeps me sane and I do find that I tend to stick to it almost exactly at least four or five times a week. Thank you so much for watching, please do subscribe.